Are you looking for a free membership plugin for WordPress that's actually free? Well, look no further. On this video, I'm going to show you one. Now, there might be certain cases where you need a membership plugin, especially if you want to get paid for content. That means that if you're creating courses, well, you need a membership plugin because you want to get paid to unlock those courses based on the plan that they pay. Or maybe you want to lock specific content on a website based on the WordPress role. So all that is possible with this free plugin. Now, before I show you the plugin, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Hostinger, a Hostinger plan that I'm actually using for this video. They sell shared hosting, VPS, and much more things. Plus, you don't want to miss out on the coupon that's available. So let me show you that right now. Let's check out Hostinger plans that they have available, how to apply the coupon code, and how easy it is to install WordPress on each panel. Now, to head on over to the shared hosting section, head on over to the menu on the top, which is hosting, and we're gonna go into web hosting and we're gonna check out the plans right here. So we click on start now. There are several plans available. One is the most popular one. And one of the cool things about shared hosting is that they're really affordable, okay? And you get really great limits with affordable prices. You get all of this with the pricing. Recommendation is a $2.99 plan, which is per month. And you get all of this right here. Now, like I said, it's super easy to install WordPress, okay? Now let's get started with this. Let's add to cart. And these are the plans that they have available. If you buy more months, you get a better price. So for example, if you pay month to month, it's gonna be $12 with 49 cents. But if you pay 48 months in advance, it's gonna run down to $2.99, which is a huge difference, okay? Now, where do we apply the coupon code? So this is the checkout system. So as of now, it's $143 with 52 cents. But if I apply the coupon code, that is SASMaster. I'm going to apply it, check out the price, how it's gonna go down. So after the rebate that it has already, it's gonna have another additional discount available with the coupon code, which is now $133 with 47 cents. So that's how easy it is to grab a plan and grab that special pricing. Now, once you grab your shared hosting, you're gonna have your each panel available. You're gonna go into the easy step-by-step -step guide in the beginning, and then you're gonna be greeted with this panel. You're gonna have access to everything you're going to need, like the file manager, database, the auto installer, you have PHP settings, and a lot of advanced settings here on the left. Now, to install WordPress, head on over to Auto Installer, and this is where you're going to select WordPress, WooCommerce, Joomla, or other. If you're going to install WordPress, just go ahead and select it, fill out the information like the title, admin email, admin username, password, and you have the advanced options if you want to change the path, and you hit next and you install. So that's how easy it is to install WordPress. But there you go. Let's go check out the free membership plugin that I was talking about. Now, once you install WordPress, obviously, you head on over to plugins, add new, and we are going to search for simple membership, which is this one right here. Once you activate it, it's going to add this menu right here, which is WP membership. Okay. And this is where we're going to be able to add the settings to this and lock content if we need to do it for, for example, for courses or for certain products, et cetera. It's going to work any place inside of WordPress with categories, post pages, et cetera. All right. Now, to get started, I would recommend heading over to settings. And in this section is where we're going to get started. Now, by default, this system has available payment gateways for PayPal and Stripe. If you need to tie it to WooCommerce, there's an add-on that you can grab. Now that add-on with the WooCommerce one, well, you can add any payment gateway that's available for WooCommerce, okay? Now in this section, we can enable the free membership if we need to enable that on this site or just paid memberships. In this case, I'll enable a free one. I can add an ID to this one. I'll assign it to number one. And there's several options available for this system. Obviously, we'd have to check these one by one, see what we need and don't need. But an important part of this section is the page settings. So by default, it creates these pages for us. It adds them to it. But you can check these out and change them if you like. So for example, let me show you the registration page. So let me go here in cognito mode. Let's go to my page. And we have the registration section. Now let's go into join us. Now everything that you see on this side, on the top and on the left, on the right, it's the theme that I have installed, okay? But the section for the membership, it's this right here. So you can go ahead and join, click now. And we also have the insert payment button. We haven't created it, so we need to insert this, okay? So you need to do that first. But you can see that we have the pages here. If you need to, you need to enable debug mode, you can do so here and sandbox texting. Now we have the payment settings, like I mentioned before, there's the PayPal integration setting and there's a Stripe global setting. So two options available. 
we have our email settings for this membership plugin. So from email, when it's gonna be sent for the registration, the email subject, the email body, you can see that there's some variables in here. It's gonna grab automatically the first name and last name for this and the registration link for this. There's more email settings for each one of the emails that are going to be sent out. And I mean, it's a pretty powerful plugin to be free, honestly. Next we have our tools, generate registration completion link. So if we want to enable that, we can do so here. The advanced settings, so enable expired account login, membership renewal URL, etc. A lot of options available. I'm pretty surprised that all of this is actually free and they don't, they don't ask you to pay anything for this. So there's no freemium and there's no paid plan on this. You can whitelist, if you need to do so here for certain pages. And then there's the add-on settings. Now there's some add-ons available for this. There's a bunch of free ones and there's a bunch of paid ones. I'll be leaving the link in the description for this section, which tells you which ones are free and which ones are paid add-ons. So for example, one of the ones that I installed, it's the, let me show you, it's the full page protection add-on. So I have installed that one just to show you, but there's all of these that are free and these ones that are premium add-ons. But honestly, these are add-ons that, that are not necessarily in case you need something specific to this. So if you want the WooCommerce payment integration, you'll need the paid add-on. But if not, I mean, there's a bunch of free ones and maybe you just don't need any of the add-ons because you have everything here. Now, let's jump into the first section, well, the second one, which is membership levels. This is where we're going to add our levels for membership. So for example, in this case, I'll create this free one, which will be for the default WordPress role, subscribers, the access duration, so no expiry for the free one. Does it need an email activation? I'll say no, but it would be recommended that you enable that. Let's add another level to this. So this one is going to be um, basic level, we'll say, and this one is going to expire after um, months one, okay? So let's go ahead and add that level. There we go. Now we have the basic level and the free level, okay? So we can add more levels if we like. We can manage content protection here. So for example, if I go into individuals, posts, or pages, I can enable this, which I'll show you that right now. Let's go into one of the posts. Let's go into this post. Let's go ahead and edit this post. And let's scroll down here. And we have this, simple WP membership protection. Now, once you install the plugin, you have this option available. If it's not installed, you won't see this, okay? So for example, do you want to protect this content? So this is specific to this specific post. We're not talking about all the posts, it's just this one. So I can go ahead and just enable this one. Yes, protect this content and select the membership level that can access this content. So in this case, I have two membership levels, which is free and basic. So I can enable this for free and for basic levels. Now I could say it's only gonna be for paid, so it's gonna be for basic only. So I can update that. Let's go ahead and update. This is the Cooking Health Joyful, all right? So I've enabled it for this one. You see how easy that is? Now. Let's go back here, category protection. Now this is where we can protect categories. So let's just say that we're uploading courses, okay? Let's lock the whole thing. I mean, if it's tagged, if it's a category of courses, then just go ahead and lock it, all right? It's gonna be protected. Or if we wanna do for other certain case scenarios, well, that is possible also. And then we have post and pages. So here we can also do it by post and page individually. So you can see that that one's already check marked because obviously we did that manually, but we can do here with several ones by doing it here without having to go into each individual post, okay? Now these are posts. We have pages also. So if there are certain pages that you want to lock, that is possible also. And custom posts also, okay? So all that is available to lock based on the level of the plan. Now, there's also the full page protection, which I installed that. That's an add-on and it's free also. So this one can do a full page. So for example, if I want to protect handles post protection, I can enable that. Handle page protection, handle custom post protection, specific page URL lockdown. So if I want to enable this and lock specific pages, I can do so here by pasting the URL or I can lock a URL pattern to lockdown. So for example, if I want to lock down, I don't know, everything that ends with courses and this, etc. slash, it can do so, all right? So let's lock one of these pages, well, actually a post by doing it here. So for example, I'll do this hello world, okay? Let me copy this. This is the post. Let's go into incognito mode. Okay, here's the post. Now let's go ahead and lock that one specifically through this system. So I'm at the website here, the page. 
Let's update it. Okay, there we go, incognito mode. We'll check it out, and boom, it's locked now. So they're not able to view this section or this sp specific post because I locked it. And this is how it's gonna work. I mean, if you wanna log in because you already have a membership, you can do so here. Or if you need to join, it's going to take you to the join page. And here it is, we're able to join now with this system. So that's how easy it is to actually do this. Let me remove this lock right now. Let me update it, and there we go. And then we have the sections for members. In this section is where we're going to be all, see all the people who actually signed up, all right? So in this section, we're able to customize their information. For example, we can change the membership level if we like. We can manually add members here, so we can add one by one. So you can set the membership levels here. You can create the username, the password, the email, other information for country, setup, and all of that. Now, one of the cool things about this is that if you are connecting via Zapier, um, Pabli Connect, or anything like that, you can automate that process. Maybe if you want to sell outside and create the membership here, you can do so through this. There's also the bulk operations, so by membership levels, level change two if you need to do um, bulk operations, bulk update access starts, date of members, and all of that. So like I said, I mean, this is a plugin that's free, okay? With all these free add-ons available, and if you need something specific from the premium add-ons, when you can add it here. So it's flexible, it's good. If you just need to lock content with a lot of features available, then this is a great plugin. But if you need something that looks fantastic and has customizations on the look and the login page and all of that, then you might need to look into another plugin. But if you're looking for a free option that works to lock content on WordPress, this is the way to go, right? So no payments, free. Well, that is the membership plugin for free. And don't forget to check out the sponsor, which is Hostinger, with that link and that coupon code on the description. Well, that's a wrap.